Hi everyone. So this is probably the most real video that I've ever made for YouTube because I'm recording it here on YouTube <laughs> and not doing any editing. I'm in my pajamas. I'm eating for the first time today properly. And yeah, I just came out of hospital this morning. So as most of you know, um, Francia and I did a another fertility treatment in May this year. And after that treatment, the doctor said that the only thing that's actually left to do is to do a laparoscopy to see um, if there's anything wrong on my insides. <laughs> and um, yeah, just to take a look inside because there were absolutely no signs of anything that they could see. But everything else was as it should be. Francia's um, counts were quite normal and my period was regular. Everything was as it should be, as they say. So I went for the laparoscopy yesterday. They made four small incisions to um, just see what's going on inside. And when I woke up, I was in a lot of pain. And... The first time that I kind of came to, um, I heard the nurse speak and I was still quite out of it because of the anesthesia. And I just heard she said endometriosis. And I asked her, do I have endometriosis? <laughs> See, I can't even say it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> endometriosis. <laughs> and she said, yes. And I'm still in shock. Um... If I'm just thinking about how long we've been trying to get pregnant and all the while we thought that the problem is more to Francia's side because of the cancer and the chemo and everything on my side is normal and everything is normal and everything as is as it should be. I'm in total shock. So the doctor came to see me, he said it was grade 3 which is very serious but the good news is that I'm now grade 0. <laughs> they got it all out. And yeah, so I'm seeing the doctor again today in a week's time. They also did a biopsy of the um, the lining of the uterus and also some other genetic tests and stuff to see, you know, they did everything they could at uh, while they were busy so that everything could be done at once. So I am in total shock. I can't believe this. Um, I don't know what to make of it. Um, on the one hand, it's obviously a bummer that there's something wrong, which explains a lot of things, like the fact that I have extremely painful periods since school, since I was very young. But besides that, not really many other factors, at least that I want to discuss now. <laughs> And I'm in total shock. I just can't believe it. So on the one hand, obviously, I don't, I didn't want something to be wrong. But on the other hand, it's also like, is it kind of a relief that you now know that there was actually something else wrong? So who knows? Maybe this was it. Maybe this was the one thing that was standing in the way of me getting pregnant and of us being parents. So that's the news. Please think of us. Please pray for us. I um, am now in the recovery stage. And let's hope all goes well. Thank you for everyone's prayers. Thank you to... <laughs> this sounds like an Oscar speech. Thank you to Francia. Thank you to my mom who supported me. Who were at the hospital the entire day. And all my friends and family who just care. And who love us. And was still interested in our boring little story of infertility and parenthood. Enjoy your day.